Christmas, the most celebrated holiday all over the world. It is that time when you decorate your trees, eat cakes, wrap gifts and get together with your loved ones. But is that the way everyone celebrates Christmas? Do you want to know how people in other countries celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ? Well, today I am coming to you with a video which will tell you about the joyful and weird Christmas traditions around the world. So let's get started. Number 1. Norway. Hide your broom. Norwegians have a weird tradition of hiding their brooms, mops and brushes somewhere in their house before going to bed on Christmas Eve. The reason is that they believe witches will come on Christmas Eve to steal your broomstick or shower. Why? Because they use it as a means of transportation. These old wicked women can often do damage where they appear. So everyone hides their brooms and shawls so that the witches couldn't steal them. Sometimes spruce logs are burned in the fireplace to prevent witches from coming down the chimney and men occasionally fire shotguns into the air outside to scare off evil spirits. Number 2. Italy Befana the Witch While Norwegians are busy hiding from the witch, kids in Italy are waiting for one specific witch, Befana. Befana comes on 5th of January, the eve of Epiphany. According to the legend, the witch turned down an invitation from three wise men to visit baby Jesus in the manger and quickly regretted her decision. The story says that she still flies around looking for baby Jesus and giving gifts to children to make up for her mistake. Children often put a glass of wine and some food for her. Just like Father Christmas, Bafana enters through the chimney and visits all the children of Italy to fill their stockings with candy and leave them presents if they have been good. Number 3. Japan Kentucky Fried Christmas Japan is not predominantly a Christian country, so Christmas was not hugely celebrated until the second half of the 20th century. Way back in December 1974, KFC Japan created its Kentucky for Christmas ad campaign, promoting fried chicken as the perfect Christmas meal. And now, eating KFC food as a Christmas meal is a huge holiday tradition in Japan. Kentucky Christmas! During the run-up to Christmas, Colonel Sanders statues outside KFC's Japanese outlets wear Sanders gear. The chicken is served in special holiday packaging and the demand is such that an online service has been created so that you can order your Christmas family bucket in advance and have it delivered. Number 4. India – Hanging Star-Shaped Lanterns South Indians have a tradition of hanging star-shaped lanterns outside their house on Christmas. It represents the Star of Bethlehem, where the three wise kings from the east are inspired by the North Star to travel to Jerusalem. The star leads them to the baby Jesus, where they worship him and give him gifts. It is a nice little tradition and almost everyone follows this regardless of the faith they follow. Number 5. Sweden – The Yule Goat this is one of the oldest Christmas traditions in the world. The Yule Goat dates back to the 11th century where a man-sized goat figure led by Saint Nicholas comes to the village on Christmas Eve. The tradition has changed quite a bit throughout history. In the 17th century, it was popular for young men to dress as a goat creature and run around pulling pranks and demanding gifts. But by the 19th century, the goat became the good guy and started giving out gifts. Instead of Father Christmas, men in the family would dress up as the goat and give gifts to the entire family. Today, the man goat is no longer and Yule goat has taken its place in the modern history as a traditional Christmas ornament on trees throughout Sweden. In larger cities, giant versions of these goat ornaments are created out of straws and red ribbons. As you may have anticipated, a giant creature made out of straw is easy prey for pranksters with fire and many Yule goats meet their demise each year. Number 6. Iceland The 13 Yule Lads and the Yule Cat Instead of just one Santa Claus, Iceland has 13 Yule Lads carry out the role of Father Christmas. One by one, the lads visit children on each of the 13 days leading up to Christmas and each lad has a different personality. Children place a shoe in their bedroom window each evening and if they have been well behaved, the Yule lad visiting that night will leave them candy or small gifts. The lads were historically depicted as somewhat frightening, leaving rotting potatoes for naughty children, but their image has softened over the years. According to the legend, first the lad named Stiff Legs will come to visit, then on next day, Spoon Liquor will come. After that, Pot Scraper, Door Slammer, Sausage Swiper, window paper etc etc and they will behave exactly like their name suggests. Another one of the weird festive traditions of Iceland is a giant cat that is said to roam snowy countryside at Christmas time. 
Traditionally, farmers would use the Yule Cat as an incentive for their workers. Those who worked hard would receive a new set of clothes, but those who didn't would be devoured by a gigantic cat-like beast. Today, it is customary for everyone in Iceland to get new clothes on Christmas to avoid an unsavory demise. Next one is number 7. Southern Germany and Austria Krampus So Krampus is just like Father Christmas except that he's a half goat half demon being and instead of giving out gifts to children he just takes the naughty kids away in his grave to the underworld. The scary figure is a well known part of holiday folklore in countries between Hungary and Northern Italy particularly in Austria and Southern Germany. Its name derives from the German word Krampen which means claw. Many cities have annual Krampus sloth during which men or women dressed as Krampus run through the streets carrying torches. bizarre Catalan tradition of cagateo or defecating log. Locals in Catalonia creates a character out of a log, drawing a face on it and giving it a hat. Then they spend a fortnight feeding it fruit, nuts and sweets. On Christmas Eve, the entire family beats the log with sticks and sings a traditional song that will translate to, if you don't clap well, I'll beat you with a stick, until the log excretes all its treats. They also decorate their nativity scene with small pooping ceramic caganers. Usually well-known characters, often from the tears news, the figurines always have their pants around their ankles. This odd traditional figure is also seen in other regions of Spain, as well as in Italy, France and Portugal. Surprisingly, the cagna is a symbol of good luck, and his poop is believed to fertilize the land and promote a good harvest the following year. The original cagna is an elf-like figure wearing traditional clothing. But in recent years, it has become common to see Kagana versions of celebrities sold at Spanish Christmas markets. Number 9. Clean Your House, Guatemala In Guatemala, cleanliness really is next to godliness. Locals believe that devil and other evil spirits live in the dark, dirty corners of your home. Therefore, they spend the week before Christmas sweeping up, collecting rubbish and then piling everything in a huge heap outside. Finally, an effigy of the devil is placed on top and the whole thing is set on fire. It's called La Cuema del Diablo, which means the burning of the devil. The idea for Guatemalans is to burn all the bad from the previous year and start a new year from out of the ashes. Number 10. Ukraine the Lucky Spider According to the old Ukrainian saga, a poor widow and her children once found a Christmas tree growing in their yard but didn't have any money to decorate it. They put the tree inside their home and when they woke up on the Christmas morning, a spider's web covered the tree. The youngest child opened a window and daylight shone on the web, turning it into silver and gold. In honor of this legend, Ukrainian people often decorate their trees with plastic spiders and webs. To see a spider on the Christmas morning is said to bring good luck. Finally, number 11. Australia, Surfing Sandas. Christmas Down Under means sun, sea and surf. That's true. Christmas traditions in Australia play out across a backdrop of sunshine and barbecue. You will 100% find more people wearing bikinis and swimwears on Christmas Day than Christmas jumpers. Head to Bondi Beach and you will likely spot surfers having the time of their life wearing sandal hats. In fact, back in 2015, a group of Australian locals broke the world record of largest sander surf lesson. 320 locals, all dressed in sander outfits, gathered on the infamous beach and raised thousands of dollars for surfing and mental health charity. That's how the Aussies do it. Alright, there you have it. These are the weird and joyful Christmas traditions from all around the world. If you know any other Christmas traditions that you think it's weird, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.